Hey everybody, Jake here with Jake Woo Market Research to go over a video on what is the difference between hollow candles and regular candles. And before I do that, if you are new to the YouTube channel and you are not currently a subscriber, please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I try to put these educational videos out to really supplement what I put out on my Twitter, uh, which is simply just Jake underscore underscore Wajastic. I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check it out as well as my Twitter subscription. It's only $10 a month. I go over a ton of different names in the market for general analysis, but also trade ideas as well. So both of those links will be in the video description and let's jump right into it. So on the left hand side, you have hollow candles on the right hand side, you have regular candles. We are looking at the Tesla daily chart right now. And you'll see we have four different numbers. We have one, two, three, four. We are going to go over what is a hollow candle, which really looks at the market in two different ways. It looks at the market as in what was the change from the previous day or whatever candle, and then what was the change from the open to the close. So you'll see here in number one, we have a hollow red candle. So we have a red outline, but the candle itself is hollow. Number two, we have a solid red candle. Three, we have a hollow black candle. So you've got uh, pretty much if you want to compare it to opening a window shade. Uh, we'll go over that more in a second. And then number four is a solid black candle. So I like to use just basic red and black candles. So the reason why it's a white candle is simply because I'm using a white background. You can use whatever color you want. If you want to use green and red, I just grew up really using just the basic uh, default colors. So that's, that's why those are those colors. So for example, if we have a solid black candle, but you're using green candles, it would be a solid green candle. So uh, those are really, those are really the different hollow candles. Now, what does a red hollow candle mean? So a red hollow candle is essentially when you have a close lower than the previous candles close. So if it's lower, it's going to be red. But then the second part of the candle is the hollow or the solid part of the candle. In this case, this is a hollow red candle. So that means that the close was higher than the open. So if you want to imagine this candle, you could imagine kind of opening a window shade. So we start at the bottom, that's the open, and then we open the window shade. So the light is coming in. And then at the top of the window is the close. So you're essentially opening the window shade. So a hollow candle essentially means for that candle, buyers were in control because the close was higher than the open. Now, if you look at a regular candle, you'll see that this number one, which is the same exact candle as the hollow candle, is actually green. And that's because regular candles only take into account essentially what happened on that candle, nothing before. So hollow candles are a function of the previous day's close and the close of the current candle. Regular candles are a function of simply the close for that particular candle. So this is technically a green candle here on the right under regular candles shown by number one because the close was higher than the open and it considers that a green candle. Well, that is technically just not the right way to look at that candle because it is a red close. We closed lower than the previous day. So the hollow candle gives you a lot more information a lot quicker and a lot more accurate information. So the hollow candle is telling us one, that this number one candle closed below the previous candle, but then it is telling us for that particular day, buyers were in control because we had a higher close. You're technically opening the window shade and that's why it's a hollow candle. Now, number two is a solid red candle, which you can see here is actually the same on the regular candle. So number two on both sides are solid red. And this is simply kind of what we just discussed, where you have a close below the previous candles close. So it's a red day, but the close of this particular candle that's highlighted as number two was lower than the open. So this is essentially like closing the window shade. You start at the top of the window, you're closing the window shade. And by the time that you get to the bottom of the window, 
you have no light coming in. And that's essentially what this candle is. It's you're closing the window shade because the close of this candle was lower than the open. So sellers are in control. And same thing here, you can see that on a regular candle, this is the same exact candle. So these two candles on both hollow and regular candles are the same. Number three is a hollow black candle. As I mentioned, if you're using purple, if you're using pink, if you're using green, it would be a hollow green candle. So don't pay too much attention to the color. The color doesn't matter. In this case, I'm just using uh, red and then technically black. The black is the outline, but as I mentioned, because this is a hollow candle on a white background, that's why it looks like a white hollow candle. So if you're using, as I mentioned, pink, purple, whatever color, it's going to be outlined in a pink or purple or green color. So in this case, this means that this hollow candle means that you closed above the previous candle. That's what's making it this hollow black candle because, and we're calling it a hollow black candle because the outline is black. This is essentially opening the window shade with a green close. So not only did you close higher than the previous candle, but you also had buyers in control for that day. So you're opening the window shade and that essentially allows you to see that not only were buyers in control from the previous day, but they're also in control for that particular day. And here on the regular candles for number three, you'll see that this is a solid green candle. So this technically tells us that, okay, pretty much the same exact thing that we're seeing on hollow candles, except it's just a solid green candle. The reason that I don't like to use regular candles is because you can see that number three and number one are both solid green candles, but number one is a red day, number three is a green day. So it's just very confusing and you really, if you're just quickly looking at the chart, it can get confusing, especially if your closes are very close to each other from the previous candle. So hollow candles are definitely much better for getting a lot more information a lot quicker. Now, number four is definitely one that is different from the hollow candle perspective than the regular candle perspective. Number four is a solid black candle. Remember, we're using the color black because that's essentially default. If you're using green as your green days, it would be a solid green candle. Well, notice number four is solid black because we closed above number three's candle. However, we actually closed lower than the open. So this is like closing the window shade. So sellers are in control of the candle on number four, but overall from the previous candle, we are still, buyers are still in control because we closed higher than the previous candle. So you technically have four different types of candles for hollow candles, and you only have two different types of candles for regular candles. Notice number four is a red candle on the regular candle side of things. That is not necessarily the true story. It's telling us that this is a red candle because sellers were in control for that particular day, but it's not telling us anything about what we are comparing from the previous candle, which is number three. This is making it look like this was a red day when technically it was not a red day. Technically, we closed higher than the previous close from the candle of number three. So using hollow candles can really just be a much quicker way of seeing, okay, this is a solid black candle, but I know that the previous close was lower than today. So technically from the previous candle, buyers are in control. But for this particular day that has a solid black candle, sellers are in control. So you kind of have a little bit of a, a mixed sentiment there. So, you know, this is really how you can decode hollow candles versus regular candles. As I mentioned, if you are following me on Twitter or if you want to check out my Twitter, all I use is hollow candles. It's a much easier way to read the market, a much more efficient way to read the market. There's nothing wrong with hollow candles or excuse me, regular candles. But for me, I just feel that it's a lot easier and a lot more efficient to use hollow candles. And that is why I use hollow over regular. If you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section in this video. And remember, if you do want to check out my Twitter, I will have the link to my Twitter account, as well as the Twitter subscription that has daily market analysis and daily trade idea updates for subscribers for $10 a month.